Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. My name's Bourbon and I'm your Santa for today's extravaganza. And we're gonna see who we can offend this week. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. But first, we're gonna try some brand new Smoke Wagon Rye. Now this is the new Bottled and Bond Rye. And it is a barely legal rye 51% rye, 49% corns. So very much like Pikesville. Same mash bill. Now Pikesville six years old. This is at least four years old, doesn't say. So I'm gonna assume it's four years old. Now, interesting thing that I found moments ago on the bottle is it, say, it does say distilled Indiana, of course, because it's MGP juice. and But it does say aged and bottled by Nevada Distilling Company. So, aged. So does that mean that these barrels spent some time in Nevada at the warehouse? I, they would, they have to spend their four year maturation period in a bonded warehouse. Now, did they do a bonded warehouse and age this in Nevada for four years? Or did it spend four years in Indiana and then a relatively short amount of time in Nevada? But it's interesting that it says aged. That leads me to believe that this spent its four years in Nevada, which would be very interesting and might explain a few things. But I'm going to try to find an answer on that. I'll let you know if I get an answer on that. But we, uh, we're going to try this. Now, I, as you can see, have had a couple pours out of this. And I wanted to let, give it a chance to get some air, let it open up a little bit. So I'm gonna, gonna nose it. So let's, let's do that. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, this video is sponsored by thewhiskeychannel.com. Thank you, Dave and Kira. I, I really appreciate the sponsorship. That huge check that I cashed was amazing. Thank you. Whew. It's, I didn't, I, do your, do your followers know that all your super chats you sent to me as a, as a sponsorship? Thank you. I loved it. Let's nose it. It's, a lot of you are going to be sad about this review. And, and I'm sad about it because I really had very high hopes for this rye. Um, I like pretty much everything that Aaron's doing, all of the whiskeys that I've tried from Smoke Wagon so far, I love, I've got, I've got a friggin' collection of them, I've got more of them down at the bottom, I've got store picks, a bunch of uncuts, the younger, I've got straight, I've got all of them. I've got all of them that I can get my hands on. And so I really had high hopes for this whiskey, but it's just flat on the nose, flat. Citrus, rye, but very thin, very thin, very thin caramel. There's like a, a hint of warm out back, that dark, that brown bread that's on there with their, their citrus butter. Mm. That stuff's good, but this is like that, but like thinned out with water. And so it, it the, the notes are there, but they don't really come across as lively and expressive. They're just very muted and thin and brittle and, and a little sharp. A little caramel. It's just kind of lackluster. It just doesn't come through. All right, let's taste. Yeah, see, it's just, it's just thin. It's just, it's a hundred proof. It should not taste this thin. It's just like, it tastes watered down. There's, a spicy herbal rye on the palate, and then it, but it's stingy and brittle, 
and just like unbalanced and just just rough. Yeah, it's just it's so thin. I, I would really love to see what this tastes like at cast strength. Because I don't know, sometimes I find that MGP rise when they're watered down, they get that thin, brittle, stinginess, sharpness. And this has it, and it just makes me wonder what this would be like at cast strength. The long the, the finish is long and sharp, thin rye. It does drink a little bit hot for 100 proof. It drinks like it it might be higher proof, but the flavors don't back that up. It's the, the, the alcohol is forward. Yeah, I just, I don't love it and I wanted to love it so much. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's rough. That's rough. But it is what it is. Hey, what are you going to do? Not every release can be an absolute home run. So uh, I'm really proud of, of what Aaron's building out there and what he's done. And, and this one just, for me, kind of falls flat. I didn't really enjoy the experimental rye either, but that's high malt. And I'm not a fan of high malt whiskey. I love single malt whiskeys. It doesn't make any sense to me. But high malt bourbons, I just, I, they don't fit my flavor profile, my preferred flavor profile. So it is what it is, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, yeah, this is a, this is a, a no for me. I probably, I wouldn't buy another one. I'm happy to have it. And when this bottle's empty, I might use it as a rye decanter and pour something that I like better in it. Maybe something else. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, I'm sad. I love having the bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. But it just doesn't quite hit for me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.